what's going on guys welcome to foul hunter my name is chris this is tom and we got trout running around here doing trout things and uh today's kind of a special one huh yeah i think we're talking about why chris decided to buy a new shotgun and not just any shotgun we're talking about a three thousand four hundred dollar shotgun so why did you choose to get a new shotgun what was wrong with your last shotgun uh I hope I really hope I don't regret this decision later on in life. Um, yes, I did. I spent almost thirty four hundred dollars on a brand new shotgun because I think it was time to retire the old Franke. Um, don't get me wrong, my Franke still works, but you know I've had the gun for five or six years and I have beat it up to death i mean it's uh i I've, I've i've had it through the trenches and you know i mean the matte black finish on the barrel has been gone i mean it 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 was gone ever since the first year that i had it i mean the first season that i ran it there was no more matte black finish on the barrel um it's 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 scratched up um you know the action's worn um, it's, you know, the, the fore end is, is a little loose, this and that. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still a great shotgun, but it's just, it's old and beat up and yeah, time yeah, to well, retire. I, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't even know if, if old, if I'd even classified it as old. I mean, it's only five or six years old. It's just, it's, it's been used and it's been abused. Mm -hmm. And, uh, if you guys know me, or even if you don't know me, you you will hear shortly. Um, I am horrible about cleaning my guns. Yeah. Um, absolutely horrible. And on top of that, anyone who hunts the Delta knows the Delta is the worst thing for your guns. Oh, Chris, yeah. Chris hunts the Delta, and on top of hunting Delta, he's one of the worst gun owners. <laughs> yes, yes. There is. I, I, <laughs> His I, next I, gun's going to be crying when he brings it in. Oh, no. I would feel guilty, <laughs> like, putting my gun up for consignment for somebody else to buy. I'd be like, dude, just... Just don't buy that gun. Just like, take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, like I feel bad giving it to you because you're gonna need to put money in this. Thing. Yes, yes. You're you're better off just buying a brand new gun instead of buying a gun from me. But um, yeah, it's I've I've beat up on that Franke. and and honestly, it was just it was time. It was you just know? time. Yeah, uh, you know. I mean, I've <clears throat> duck hunting is my passion, my obsession, and uh, I need I I needed something that's gonna be able to keep up with me. Yeah. One of, and one, I don't know if this play, played a, a factor or even a huge factor or a small factor or anything, but, I mean, you being limited, and not that you need anything more than 3-inch, but you, you being able to upgrade to something that has more of a, a an option is always a nice perk, too, as well, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I did decide to go with a 3.5-inch gun. Um, this will be my first 3.5-inch auto. Um, I've had an 870 Super, Super Mag before that, I, uh, that was a designated goose gun. And, you know, I mean, it was fun shooting three and a half, but, um, you know, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that, um, you know, my decision was solely based on the fact that I wanted a three and a half inch gun because, I mean, I can. Yeah, I, you've hunted yeah, for I, 23 years with. Yeah, I mean, I, I can do everything. You yeah. know, I, I've got an extra, I've, I, I run a, I run a kicks extra full choke um, with, uh, you know, three inch number twos and. Personally, that that gun can do everything that a three and a half inch gun can do. Um, and but um, yeah, so I mean, having I, the option be nice though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, do I want to smack early season honkers with, you know, some three and a half inch shells? Absolutely. But uh, I, I wouldn't say that that was a deciding factor at all hmm. as far as the new gun. I just I, I needed something that was going to be able to take the abuse that uh, I put to them. So, so what guns were you looking at? Uh, so when it came down to choosing a gun, you know, and when you get into duck hunting and, you know, you realize that it's, it's a passion of yours and this and that, you know, eventually you're going to have to invest into a quality shotgun. You know, I mean, that's, that's just what you're going to do. And that is a very tough decision because, you know, you're just not, it's just not decoys to where you can just go out and buy something. You know, you are investing into a gun that you expect to shoot every time you pull the trigger, you know? Um, so, you know, the decision on what shotgun you run is, is a big one. And, and in all reality, it's, it's not an easy decision to make. Um, so, I mean, I was looking at the Beretta A400, okay. um, the Explorer. Um, nice I've, gun. 
I've heard good reviews on on that gun since it's been out for a while. When they first came out, they had some issues. Beretta has corrected that issue um, <coughs> as far as cycling, especially cyc cycling three and a half inch shells. Um, so they've they've fixed it. My only downfall with Beretta is that it's a it's a heavy it's a bulky gun. They are very bulky, bulky, but some people like that. Yeah, but yeah. I, that was actually because I was looking at that gun too when I was looking at guns, and that was one thing I couldn't get over. Yeah, was how I mean, thick it was. Um, you know, and I, I was looking for a. Um, I was also looking for a, a Benelli Super Black Eagle too. Um, I I was hesitant on the three because it's such a new gun, and I I don't like that. I I feel that a gun needs to be out on the market for you know three, four, five years, and let the company work out the kinks from the original manufacturing. And then that gun, you know, if, if that gun proves itself in the first four or five years, then okay, then maybe I'll consider it. So I was hesitant on the three. So did you get, did you buy a Super Black Eagle too? No. Oh, okay. No, I did not. Why? Well, you just said you're interested in that one. Why didn't you? I was, and I looked and I tried. Now, getting, getting back, getting back to Benelli, I am one of the biggest Benelli critics you will ever meet. Um, for a long time, I swore to myself that I would never own a Benelli. Um, the the Benelli click issue, um, you know, when they came out with the twos, it just everybody who I talked to was having some sort of problem. And with me personally, like if you're gonna spend fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars on a shotgun, that gun better fire every time you pull the trigger, regardless of what you put it through. And and I feel that you should not have to clean a fifteen hundred dollar shotgun. I mean, you were spending. Think about it. You are spending fifteen hundred dollars on a gun. Why should you have to clean that gun every single time just for it to function? You shouldn't have to. And you know, with with Benelli's jamming left and right, it's like the why? I think, I think that's up for debate, though. Uh, I, I, get just because you have a two hundred thousand dollar Ferrari doesn't mean you don't have to change the oil still. Uh, I know, <laughs> but 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 still, it's like it just it just didn't make sense to me. It's like you know, guy, you know, I mean, I. I I don't clean my gun after every hunt. You know, I'm I'm lucky to clean my gun a couple once times a season. Yeah. Well, if if that. once a season. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yes, I was looking for a Benelli Super Black Heel too as well. Um, did you find one? Nope. They discon. Well, yeah, they basically discontinued them. Um, I I looked all over all every local gun shop within probably a hundred mile radius <coughs> of me, and I could not find a Super Black Eagle two. In Max Five with a twenty-eight inch barrel for the life of me, I I, I just I and even find. being a Benelli critic, you actually were looking for the two because you actually liked the one so much because you had some experience with the one, right? Yes, yes. So my dad has shot a one ever since. I mean, he my dad's probably shot a shot the Super Black Eagle, the the classic, the original, for 25, 26 years. So and reliability that, was a front runner for you. Yes, yes. I and that gun has been through time and yeah. still shoot so yeah yeah and that and i mean if if i could have found a brand new one i would have bought it like that um you know it's 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 back before benelli really took off you know and mm -hmm. and i feel like like manufacturing was at a very high point it was you know they were producing quality instead of quantity um and i, I mean I, I i could be wrong on that but i mean my dad's gun is like 26 yeah probably 26 years old and it is immaculate and it fires every single time so yeah i mean i i, I was looking for the one um what else were you looking for i i also looked at the uh the brownie maxis um you know your brother and your brother-in-law shoot the maxis and you know I mean, nice gun I mean, they're all nice gun. once you get past 1200 bucks i mean you're yeah they're very nice guns if anyone says it's not a nice gun they're fooling themselves it's still a nice gun now they might like something better than the other one but it's still a nice gun yeah so, uh what were your pros and cons versus the Maxis? So, the issue that I have with the Maxis and with the Beretta A400 is that they're they're gas guns. I mean, you know, I've shot um, I've shot an inertia gun my entire life. You know, I, I own the Franke I12 and now the Franke Affinity, and they're both inertia guns. And um, you know, I like the way they swing. I like how um, they shoulder. Um, and I don't know, just everything. I, I like the fact that an inertia gun has fewer moving parts than a gas gun. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to me, they're more reliable. Um, you, at, you've always had one. Times. And, and yeah. if it ain't, it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's so you right. wanted to That's get back right. to another inertia then. Um, 
Yeah, and then and then there's also the Winchester SX4. Um, it was it was it was lower on the end as far as you know. I, I mean, I, I shouldered it. It's a decent gun. I'm just uh, there's something about Winchester that I don't like. I just I I, I don't like the way they shoulder. Um, I know a couple guys who shoot them, and you know they're they're okay. I just mm -hmm. I don't know. It just the 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 SX4 wasn't for me. So is that um, your only ones you were looking at? So but if you had to narrow it down to two, what were your top picks? A Super Black Eagle 2, or were you looking at the Maxis, or were you looking at the... It was between the Super Black Eagle 2 and the Beretta A400. Okay, so did you end up with either of those guns? No. No? No, I did not. Well, did you settle on? What, what did you choose between those two guns? Which one kicked the other one out? Well, seeing as how I didn't buy either one of them... Um, why didn't you buy the uh, Benelli Super Black Eagle 2? Because I couldn't find it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, I, I looked. I, I looked for it. Well, I looked for the one, and then I couldn't find the one. No surprise there. And then I was like, okay, well, I mean, you shoot the two. I've shot yours. You're, you know, yours is a nice gun. Yeah, I don't have any complaints about um, that one. And could not find the two. So I was like, okay, well, I mean, well, like. So wait, your two number one picks. Now. You didn't end up with one of them? Well, how, where did secret pick number three come from? So pick number three came from, well, I, I mean, I couldn't find a Super Black Eagle 2, and I walked into my uh, local gun shop, and uh, he said, well, I've got a Super Black Eagle 3 here. And I said, ah, no, I don't want it. And he said, well, uh, let me stop you there. Well, why don't you want the 3? And I said, for one, it's too new of a shotgun. Um, and I wasn't a huge fan on... Um, Benelli changing like like they enlarged the the comb on it the little chevrons on the comfort tech stock they increased those um, I heard some reviews that Benel that let that the that the super black eagle 3 was shooting high end uh, to the left and so I, I mean I was kind of hesitant on that um, I didn't like the fact that on the threes um, it came with like a, a, a rubberized a recoil pad versus the gel pad that the mm -hmm. two came with. Um, so I, I was just, I was hesitant with it. And then again, you go on the A400 and, it, and, it, and it's a bulky shotgun. So I was sitting there thinking, ah, oh, man, okay. So, so we were going back and forth and uh, he said, okay, well, let me, let me fix the, um, let me fix the recoil pad issue with you. And he, and he takes the super black Eagle two and he pops the, the gel pad off and he takes the three and he pops the rubber one off and he and he's like let's see if they swap out boom clicked it in it's like well <laughs> i fixed one issue for you and i was like okay so there's that uh we we got the recoil pad figured out and uh i was talking with him and he said that uh i believe benelli don't don't quote me on this i believe it's either a seven or a ten year warranty on the, on the gun itself so like um the overall like performance of the gun you know so if you have any issues with the trigger with the bolt um you know nelly covers those costs it's under warranty which is cool um that means like I, and, and like one of my concerns was with the with the comb pad it's it's a lot softer than the two um you, you can i mean sit there and squeeze it and i'm sitting there thinking like my recoil pad on my frocky, I mean, it, over time it just decays. Mm -hmm. So, like, if this comb decays, I mean, you know, for one, how long is it going to decay, or how how long is it going to take? And then two, it's like, you know, okay, cool, I, I can get a new one. Um. Yeah. So I mean, there were just issues. Now, I I've got to give Benelli credit for this. On the Super Black Eagle threes, they switched their bolt. And this, this, this is a big one, because like I said, if you're going to spend that kind of money on a, on, on a gun, I needed to cycle. And I, I, I didn't want the Benelli click issue. So on the Super Black Eagle 3s, Benelli put a, it's, it's, they basically copied the bolt from the Benelli Ethos. And it's got an extra detent spring, which basically forces that bolt to engage in the battery each time to where it, it, it doesn't hang up. I mean, that is... That is huge. Um, so no more Benelli click. Yeah, no possibly. more. Yeah, no more Benelli click. Um, they they changed the feed ramps on it and all that kind of stuff. So 
So a three was looking better and better as, as, as I was in there. Now, I was sitting there looking at the inventory and I said, well, I can't get one in black again because I can't risk the matte black finish, you know, just, yeah. you know, yeah, disappearing. Was... Um, and a camo one would be better, but I mean, realistically, um, it's, it's still going to get scratched up and mm -hmm. this and that. And, um, so. Especially where we hunt rivers, deltas. Rivers, refuge, delta, and all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, I need, <coughs> I need something that's pretty much bulletproof. And, uh. I was on the Benelli site, and there was a Super Black Eagle Three from the Performance Waterfowl Shop. And um, actually, you know what? Let me let me pull up the the description of it on my phone here, just so you guys have an idea on what I'm talking about. Because you guys are like a, a performance shop, Super Black Eagle Three. Like, you know, like what's what's that all about? Um, so this is directly from the Vanelli website, and uh, yeah, Performance Shop Super Black Eagle 3 Waterfowl. And uh, so this is the, the description of the gun. It said, uh, Benelli shotguns are already recognized as the greatest semi-autos on the market. With Benelli's Performance Shop Enhancements, the Ultimate Waterfowl um, scattered guns just got better. Custom work and features include honed and polished action, custom two tuned trigger group, three Rob Roberts triple threat choke tubes, lengthened and polished forcing cones, high-vis comp sight, oversized charging handle, enlarged bolt release, and a paracord survival sling. Uh, waterfowl edition models are tested with a computerized pattern analysis machine to ensure consistent and even patterns. Basically, a whole lot of extra stuff from what it sounds like. So they're um, spending a lot of time with the gun after they assemble it. Yeah. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. Like I said, um, I mean. You'll put it through the ringer and it gets there and we'll make yeah, sure. But. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the gun. So well, let me guess. You ended up with A400? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I could have bought two A400s <laughs> for the same price. So what does a normal Benelli Super Black Eagle 3 retail for? So the, the, like, just, you go to your local gun shop and you want to buy a Super Black Eagle 3. I mean, a gun retails for, I don't know, seventeen eighteen hundred dollars $1,800. And what'd you spend on yours? I spent a uh, thirty three seventy six zero one. Thirty four hundred 3400 bucks on a shotgun. What, what the, <laughs> it, it's, it, does, it, your, it, does your wife want to know what it came with on the side or? <laughs> It better come with everything. <laughs> I mean, everything. is it coming with a trip to Vegas? And I, mean, I, I, I better be able to just pull this gun up and without pulling the trigger and doing nothing, ducks should just start, ducks and geese should just start falling. No nothing. So how did you go from 17 to 1900 to 3400? So, I mean, this shotguns, it's got, um, it's got all the metal on this thing is all Cerakoted. So it's got, uh, I, apparently all of the new, Super Black Eagle threes come with the cryo barrel and all this kind of stuff. So I mean, it's 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 good steel. This is with the Cerico on all the metal. It's basically a rust scratch from uh, from my understanding, rust proof, scratch proof, like pretty much as bulletproof as a shotgun can get. Now with a polished action and the trigger and all that kind of stuff, who knows? I mean, I. I haven't even put hands on the gun. This gun's still like six weeks out. Um, but yeah, it's this is either gonna be one of the best decisions I've ever made and I will never have to buy another shotgun again or it's gonna be one expensive <laughs> boat anchor. So wait, you had to have gotten more just that. Did that increase the price by, what is that? 1000 1400 by 1600 bucks or is there other add-ons? Yeah, yeah, I mean the, the Cerakote, the and the uh, polished action, the custom trigger, the computer oh, testing. So you had a custom trigger put on too? Oh yeah, it comes with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I haven't, I haven't put hands on the gun, nothing. Who knows? New recoil pad? Oh yeah, so I did have to spend an extra $100. Um, I, the, the specs on this gun, even, even on the website from Rob Roberts and everything like that, it's... 
the there aren't very many specs as far as what this gun comes with. It says specifications are subject to change without notice. So, I mean, I have no clue if it comes with the new uh, rubberized SB3 recoil pad or or if it comes with the gel pad. I hope it comes with a gel pad because then it just saved me a hundred bucks. Um, but I bought a separate gel pad just in case and we're gonna do a little swap. But um, yeah. So after all the little extras you got, we're talking 3,400 bucks for possibly a boat anchor. A boat yes. anchor or maybe a gun that's going to last you just as long as your dad's Super Black Eagle 1. Oh, yeah. I mean, I hope to get 25 plus years out of this gun. If if I can do that, it is well worth the investment because I won't have to buy another shotgun every, you know. Oh, yeah. It's worth years. it then. Yeah. Um, you hear these other guys that own a couple cheaper models. They, they believe going a little cheaper route's just good, but then they'll talk about they've owned three and <laughs> yeah three in the last 10 years yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that like, adds up i yeah, mean over I mean, 25 yeah. years that's gonna add up yeah. it, and if a franke i mean you've owned two already and not bet. that the first one went out or anything but you got two mm -hmm. i mean so price add prices add up mm -hmm. so you're hoping you're hoping to defeat that by getting something that hopefully will outlast all that uh, i mean to my knowledge this is the most expensive waterfowl gun that's on currently like on the market um I mean, the fact that I could have bought two A400s for the same price. I... Well, I know you were looking for a Super Black Eagle too, so I might be able to work a little trade out for you. I just happen <laughs> no, to have one in the safe. No, 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 no. We ain't <laughs> trading. We ain't trading now, buddy. We ain't trading now. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, uh, this is either going to be the dumbest decision that I've ever made, or it, it might actually turn out to be a fairly smart decision. So who knows? Um, it's definitely a nice looking gun. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 hey, worst case scenario, you go always put it up on your mantle and just leave it up there for people to look at. That's what I thought been always were good for back in the day. <laughs> just hanging up somewhere. Hey, at my, my gun doesn't hang up. It, it, it takes abuse. Yeah. My, my, my SB2 is still, still clicking. Yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's why I spent almost $3,400 on a shotgun is because I was looking for a long-term investment on a gun that is going to shoot without fail year after year cool. and um well i hope it works out yeah i hope it works out too or i'm not gonna very, be very happy about it yeah but I, I, <laughs> all right well so. stay tuned guys and uh we'll have to do the unveiled you and chris gets in about six weeks yeah six weeks we'll have, we'll have another video and we'll actually open this baby up i will we'll we will do an see. unboxing of the super black eagle 3 performance waterfowl we'll take and it. uh we'll see what 3400 dollars shotguns look like can I touch it? Am I allowed to hold this? I don't know, dude. You've shot my shotgun. Does that at least not warrant a hold of yours? You, you can. You know, right. I, I, I'll, I'll let you shoot it. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I'm nervous. I, I am. I mean, they, it was, yeah. It's a lot of money, but it's a nice gun. We'll see. We'll definitely look nice. We'll see how, how she works. All right, guys. The picture looks cool. <laughs> the the picture, picture definitely picture looks definitely cool. Looks cool. Hopefully, I, I, hopefully I, you got more than just a picture for it, though. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could have put hands on it before <laughs> I bought it, but yeah, I mean, the, the picture looks cool. Let's see if it's uh, everything it's stocked up to be. So, hope you guys like the video, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hey guys, Tom here with Fowl Hunter. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. We have a ton of new videos coming out with really good information, so please hit subscribe and like, and remember to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Come visit us on our website, Instagram, and Facebook, and drop us a comment below. Thanks again, guys, and see you soon.